it's a tremendous step in the good direction. The next step is to be able to have no immune suppression with those treatment. Stem cell therapy has restored insulin production in about 10 patients with type 1 diabetes, according to a study published in the New England Journal of Medicine. While it's far from perfect, the study brings us one step closer to a day when patients will no longer need insulin doses to control their blood sugar. Doctors from the Montreal Clinical Research Institute say this milestone may have cured type 1 diabetes. This is really groundbreaking. Years of years of research has been dedicated into this, and and this is, as I said, not only important for the future of type 1 diabetes, but also for just regenerative medicine as a field, that these tissues that we're learning to generate in the lab, they can actually be functional and they can be transplanted into people. Despite not participating in this work, experts on the disease, Dr. Rabazal Lorer and Dr. Yasemin Agazadeh of the Montreal Clinical Research Institute say this breakthrough has been shared across the medical community. The hope is to cure at some point type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes represent approximately 10% of the case of diabetes. In terms of cure, we are not still there, but we have have made a tremendous step into that direction. 14 patients were recruited for this study. Two died during the study, one from cryptococcal meningitis and the other from pre-existing dementia. Of the remaining 12 participants, the need for insulin was reduced or eliminated. 83% of them no longer required insulin 12 months after treatment. 10 without insulin, it's nearly a cure. Two had significantly lower level of insulin and none make any severe load. Those one where you can have a coma and you can even die of that coma. So this is tremendous. However, those patients still need to take immune suppression therapy. Dr. Lorer explained that a stem cell must come from a donor, which involves a transplant of either the entire pancreas or insulin producing cells, which means a patient will then have to undergo an immunosuppressant regimen to prevent their immune system from rejecting the transplant. The caveat is that not every single person can receive this because for your body not to reject these cells, you have to actually uh, go under immune suppression regimen. And immune suppression by itself is a very complicated therapy. It can cause significant health damage, uh, issues. This is not only great news for the, for the patients, but also for the promise of regenerative medicine for many other um, um, organs. In Montreal, Dahostri Hastir, City News.